weapons. First, it appears that all the basic weapons from previous games will be available. On top of that, Splatland specific weapon types, such as the bow-like stringers, will make their destructive debut. We've also verified a new weapon type called Splatanas. This is the Splatana Wiper. Send blades of ink flying with the centrifugal force generated by swinging. Swing after charging up a bit, and it'll transform into a charged slash. As expected, it's powerful as a long-range attack. But the charged slash at close range is also quite devastating. Let's dive into the weapons that can help you claim even more turf. Special weapons. As the name implies, these are special kinds of weapons that can be unleashed after filling up the gauge from inking turf. There are some new types we've identified, so let's take a closer look. This is the Tactic Cooler. When it's activated, a fridge appears. You'll find in-game beverages stored inside. These have a variety of effects, like momentarily increasing speed. They come in packs of four, so take one and share the rest with your teammates. This is the Wave Breaker. When activated, it'll unleash waves around the area. It'll also mark an opponent's location and cause damage. Try to avoid them with a well-timed jump. Finally, the Reef Slider. Build up power, then charge into opponents who need a good splat. Once the attack ends, it'll explode and damage the surrounding area. Familiar special weapons like the Tenta Missiles, Ink Jet, Ink Storm, Ultra Stamp, and Booyah Bomb will also make their grand return. 